got to get it. Hi, my name is Tracy Mead. I volunteer with South Riverdale, the Health and Strength Action Group, and with the Food in the Budget. I'm one of the people in this city trying to live on social assistance. <coughs> I get $592 a month. A person cannot rent a room in Toronto for under $400, which leaves less than $200 for food, personal hygiene, medical needs, clothing, transportation, grooming, everything. Right in my face. I'm sure you know of the tool and the challenge to do the math. I, I have to wonder how over 50 MPPs, 1,000 people in more than 30 communities around Ontario, including five Anglican bishops, and well over 400 church members, including children, are taking the math challenge and have the common sense to understand that the amount of money a single person receives on welfare is inadequate. But you will not admit to this, you will not take the challenge yourself, nor even consider the implications. I was here at your office one month ago on February 14th. We hand-delivered Valentine's to your press secretary to be passed on to you. I read your blog about getting over 1,100 Valentines that day. In your blog, you told your readers about being a child and the competition involved and how many Valentines each of you got. And while that was very heartwarming, the reality is very different. As a child, you got Valentines because people liked you. The Valentines... The Valentines that we delivered came from people, including children, that are starving. They were a cry for help, falling on deaf ears, and that's nothing to be proud of. I have a question for you, Dwight Duncan. What will it take for you to make time to meet with us? We are many, and we are all, we are all trying very hard to get your attention. Yet you send us representatives and refuse to meet us, stating that you are too busy. There is a reason for my question, sir. We, the people that voted you into office, are starving and we need the healthy food supplement as an emergency measure in order to eat a healthy diet and keep us strong and fit. You say there's no public support for the healthy food supplement to be added, but I beg to disagree. The numbers are staggering and they are growing and we are hungry and we won't just go away. I don't want to go to a food bank. I don't want to be told what to eat, carbohydrates and sodium. Food should not come in a can that has been sitting on a shelf for months and does not help a person stay healthy. A food bank gives you enough food for three days but the money from social assistance runs out in one week. It's stressful and energy consuming to be constantly worrying over where your next meal will come from. I want to eat every day just like you do. I'm here again in front of your assistants and your representatives and I'm supporting the Anglican Church in this campaign to end hunger. I'm asking you to make time to meet with us. I want to be able to eat healthy food and I want to be a confident, strong, member of this society. We are asking for an immediate increase of $100 for all social assistance recipients and that social assistance rates are worked out based on the real cost of living.